Hello everyone, before we start the tutorial, let me talk a little bit about my website from where you can download parametric Revit families and use them in your architectural and interior design projects. The price uh, shown here is of the complete folder which contains more than one files. The detailed description is given here and also you can uh, check out the videos in the tutorials tab in which I have explained in detail about how you can use the parameters of these individual families. So do watch these videos before you buy the product and the link of the uh, website is given below in the description box. Now let's move towards our tutorial. Today's tutorial is about how to create a parametric a fully parametric telescopic sliding window in Revit and before we start a tutorial let me remind you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel and also if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit you can ask me anytime and now let's start open a new family template file of window in Revit let's reduce its size first of all the text size okay now so now let's for now change keep the height and width as six feet and this is how the opening looks like for this dimension in the wall okay so now in the reference level floor plan uh, place two vertical reference planes rp is the short key for the selection of the reference plane command and place these two reference planes at a distance of two inches and then place the dimensions and lock it down now go to the interior elevation and place two horizontal reference planes as shown in the video at a distance of two inches from the adjacent reference plane and make sure to place these three dimensions and also lock it down now select the sweep command in the create tab click on sketch path and draw a rectangle like this make sure to lock all the four sides then go to place uh, move this reference plane here so that you can draw on the reference level floor plan and draw the profile like this and also lock the four sides of this profile then click ok and now we have the basic frame for our telescopic sliding window and when you change the width of this uh, wall you can see that the wall moves uh, the uh, profile changes along with it ok now place uh, these four vertical three vertical reference planes in the reference level floor plan at any uh, position within the uh, opening and then place a dimension like this select this dimension and assign a parameter to it let's say window for distance this parameter would help us in moving the uh, panel number four of this sliding window now select extrusion and then uh, draw a rectangle like this and lock only this side with the reference plane and nothing else then place the dimension like this and use the tab button for the selection of this line only and then select this dimension and assign the parameter or is which is the width of single panel okay so and then place this line at 2 inches then select this dimension and lock it down like this so till now click ok go to the interior elevation drag this arrow to meet this reference plane and then click lock it and then also lock this like shown in the video then you can see that when you change the width of the uh, wall the panel moves along with it but we want this panel to be two inches to have this distance as two inches only so uh, make sure to lock this dimension at two inches so that when you change the width of the wall the panel should not move now again select the extrusion and draw a 
rectangle like this and make sure to lock these two sides only and then place a dimension at 2 inches like this and assign the parameter which is the width of single panel for it then click ok go to the interior and lock the top and bottom of this extrusion with the reference planes as shown now place a dimension between these two reference planes and assign the parameter which is window 3 distance so this parameter will help us in moving the in sliding this panel of the window now again select the extrusion and draw the third panel like this lock these two sides and place a dimension between it it should be 2 inches then lock this dimension and assign the parameter which is width of single panel to this then click ok go to the interior and uh, lock the top and bottom edges of this extrusion with the reference planes as shown now place a dimension between these two reference planes and assign the parameter a new parameter which would be window to distance so this parameter will help us in moving this panel of the in sliding this panel of the window now again select extrusion and draw the fourth and last panel of this window lock it this side only and then assign this parameter which is going to be 2 inches lock this dimension and again uh, place another dimension at 2 inches between these two lines lock it down and and place assign the parameter which is the width of panel between these two lines as shown in the video So now you can see that we have placed successfully placed these four panels of the window, this telescopic window, like here. But we need to add, adjust its the width of the panel. So we are going to add a formula for the width of single panel parameter. So now that formula is going to be total width minus two inches, two inches being the frame of the whole window and also we want the window to overlap two inches uh, pan each panel to be overlap with each other uh, let's say two inches so there are three overlapping within in the middle so that is going to be six inches and then we are going to divide this completely by four because that is the number of panels for this window and then click ok so this is how the panels are now but we need to change the distance for each panel so that they are placed at their correct position when closed so for that uh, the second panel should be as you can see the distance between this reference plane and this sign is 1 feet 7 inches so the second panel should be at a distance of 1 feet 5 inches so that it is 2 inches overlapped with the first panel so for that open this parameter and change the value it is 1 feet 5 inches here click and you can see that the second panel is placed like this now uh, you can see the distance between these uh, two uh, reference plane the line is 2 feet 11 inches so I'm going to add the distance for the third panel as 2 feet so uh, 3 feet so it is going to be 2 feet 10 inches so that it is 2 inches overlapped and for the third uh, fourth panel i'm going to repeat the exact process and then i'm going to add the value which is four feet three inches 
uh, it has overlap with the frame okay so i got the issue so basically what happens is we have to add the width as width minus 4 inches because there is 2 inches thickness of frame on the right side and the left side as well so now the width of single panel is 1 feet 6.5 inches the second is going to be 1 feet 4.5 inches and the third is at a distance of 2 feet 9 inches and the fourth one is going to be at a distance of 4 feet 4 feet 1.5 inches so now the window is closed and you can see that it looks like this and now I am in the interior elevation I am going to create an offset of 2 inches for the reference plane and then make sure to lock these 2 reference planes at 2 inches then go to the reference level floor plan and now select void extrusion and set the reference plane press tab button keyboard if it does not happen then go to the 3d and press tab button to select this reference plane and uh, make sure to show so that uh, you can see that which reference plane is selected and you have to draw where if you don't know which reference plane of the panel is selected and then draw the profile for the void extrusion as shown in the video then click ok and make sure to lock align this reference plane with this and lock it down and lock this down as well then again go to the reference lab uh, floor plan and now I'm going to create the wide extrusion for the remaining three panels as well select the reference plane click here go to the reference level floor plan show and then draw the profile for the void extrusion as shown in the video Now again select void extrusion and you can also draw the profile in the elevation as well for that set the reference plane to the surface press tab button and then draw the profile and uh, let's give it an offset of minus 2 inches and draw like this and lock lock these sides as you can see in the video and you can also use the align command and then click ok and lock and then use the align command to lock these two and now pt step for the fourth panel to create extrusion in the fourth panel as well Now let's place the glass within these panels for that select extrusion set the reference plane to this surface press tab button for this selection and then draw the glass to the profile for the glass as shown in the video.
Walk these reference planes from the top as shown in the video. Now repeat this step for these remaining three panels to create glass within each of them. Now after placing the glass, let's assign the material parameters for each extrusions and the sweeps as shown. Now let's see how the parameters uh, uh, work for this parametric windows. Let's say we want to open this window for that uh, add these values of zero feet with, uh, for these three parameters and don't worry if this issue occurs, nothing to worry about. Uh, we need to move this to, for, uh, towards that panel for that select it and then drag it like this like this then double click on this void extrusion and place the dimension like this and lock it down and place the dimension here as well and lock it down okay okay so now this window is closed and it will now work uh, perfectly uh, now let's add this value one feet one feet six inches and two feet like this and the window will open so it depends upon you how you want to show the window in your uh, project how you want it to be opened or closed or semi opened or semi closed or whatever so you for for that you will just need to add these values in these three parameters and the panels will move according to those dimensions So that's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. I will meet you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care. And most importantly, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.